Hello everyone! Today I want to talk about my new simple note-taking system. And I want to make this video short and as concise as I can, but for a quick introduction I just want to say that I've used multiple note-taking systems over the years and I can probably say this is the best note-taking system I've ever taken in my life. Since I don't have the time I had in law school to write really pretty notes and take a lot of time and effort doing that, I wanted to come up with a very simple note-taking system that would be efficient in retaining all the information I needed and would also be easy during revision time. So first of all, for a little bit of a disclaimer, you can do this either on paper or using an iPad with the iPad Pencil. I mean, you can actually do this as well on a computer, but most of the things I'm going to talk about in this video are concerned with handwriting your notes instead of typing them on a computer. So the first thing I did to simplify my note-taking system was writing notes for one class per batch of pages. So this means that each one of my classes has a batch of pages related to that particular class. And then I group all of those batches of pages to have my total class notes. This makes it really easy to study individual classes if somehow I need to study only certain types of notes instead of having everything in one place only and having one class ending and the following one starting the same page. So I really prefer it this way. The second thing I do to simplify my system is really be able to reference all of the topics and classes easily. So one thing I do is writing the class number on top of the page as well as the dates. And this is really important for me because I skip some of my classes so I really need to understand at what time I was taking those notes and also the kind of topic and chapter that were lectured in that particular class. Another thing I do to simplify my notes and I cannot tell you how important this was to write the fastest notes I could was writing with only one color. So in these notes, no more color coding schemes. And maybe for some of you this is quite of a shocker because usually color coding and washi tape and decorating notes and calligraphy and whatnot are the things that make notes look attractive. However, I'm really not focused in making attractive notes because in the end of the day during revision, that's not a factor that makes me study. I need to have efficient information written down and I need to have the most summarized version of my lecture as possible. And I feel like this is only possible if I'm writing with only one pen and I'm not worried about breaking down and categorizing information um, with colors. Because changing pens actually takes a lot of your time, so not doing that really benefited my process during the lectures. However, this does not mean you cannot use color in your notes. What I do with my own notes is writing them down with a black pen and then during revision using highlighters to highlight titles, keywords, dates and so on. So it's kind of a double process. The first step is to write oversimplified notes in your class with only one color and in a second stage you can use color to hierarchize your information differently. Another thing that's fundamental for this specific type of note-taking is indenting information. And for me indenting information is what makes me understand the level of complexity of my notes. So it all starts on the left side of the page with more general terms and topics and as the lecture goes on I start to write down more specific details about that topic um, in indented form. This allows me to understand the thoroughness of the information I need to write and also allows me in the second stage of revision to understand how complex is that particular topic. So for instance, in an exam or a test, I know that if I visualize the indenting of that particular chapter, I know there was a vast array of information I need to write down in my test because, because I can remember a bigger or smaller block of writing and I can remember that it had many steps or few steps and that makes me remember and visualize better the kind of information I'm writing as well as the answer I need to write down. Also, for oversimplification of these notes, I do free-handed writing. So this means I actually write on blank paper. 
And I must agree that some people have some difficulty in writing straight lines in blank paper. I'm not one of those people. I always had a really easy time in writing straight lines. I really believe it's because I studied art for three years, so I think it has something to do with that. So I don't use lined paper, grid paper, and I definitely do not use the cardinal method. I have quite of a love-hate relationship with the cardinal method. I think it's a great method for revision, but I think it's very slow in class. It means you always need to carry a ruler around and be able to break down information and chapters and topics and then a small summary in the end of the page and I really don't think it's an efficient system in class although I really believe it's also a good system if you are revising and taking notes in your home. So basically this note-taking system makes reviewing really easy and effortless because there's a minimum of colors, shapes and lines. Reviewing with this method guarantees you have no distractions. On the other hand, because you are writing with only one color, you are almost giving yourself a blank slate so you can annotate and add color during revision. It makes revision a little bit more active and less passive so instead of reading uh, already 100% finished notes, you're actually adding something else during the reviewing process and I think that was really fundamental for me to be able to memorize tons of things in history and get good results in my exams. So this is all for my new simple note-taking system. If you are curious about my new simple productivity system, you can also check out my last week's video which was about my simple planner system. And there are tons of videos on my channel about college productivity, organization, motivation, and so on. If you want to see more content like this, you can always subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next week with a new video on productivity, organization, and learning. Bye!